government here has uh, put a policy in place where if there's a gathering that he deems not uh, permissible, is, is, is for, for search of a better word, that law enforcement has a right to break that up. Based on his assumption or his assessment, they have the right to come break that gathering up. If it's peaceful protests or whatever the issue may be, they have the right to come and break that uh, protest up. Uh, there's litigation challenge that uh, my office, me personally, if we file a brief challenging the laws, I'm happy to talk to you about, at least from the Department of Justice perspective, why we believe that law is problematic and what we're doing about it. That litigation is, is ongoing, and so you know, ultimately we'll see what happens in the courts. But yes, I think that we recognize from a DOJ perspective that the right to speak is fundamental to our country. The right to protest is fundamental to our country. Like our country is the democracy it is because people have protested. Uh, but we actually, and the other thing I'll do too, because we know um, both of the protests that just happened are happening now, but in the protests post George Floyd uh, and all of that, a few years ago, we also saw similar issues and concerns about how local law enforcement and other law enforcement have responded. We, Justice Department also put out a a report. We actually met with law enforcement to see how we can learn from what happened, those protests, and not repeat the mistakes going forward. I'm happy to talk to you about that and share that information with you, but it's an issue that we are aware of and are deeply invested in making sure that First Amendment rights are protected.